I'm holding it. Nope. Holding it again. LT. Find red on the breakaway. Two on. Oh. Oh, gosh, man. Okay. All right, welcome back with, an with another mastering defense video. I haven't done one of these in a while, right? This one is going to be mainly about just the decision making when you're a defenseman. In this game, everything happens in a split second. You just got to make decisions in the fly based on what the team's giving you. So I haven't played three drop-ins in a while, to be honest with you. The last time I did this was when I la the last time I did a mastering defense guide. But defense... But when it comes to defense, there's a lot of decisions need to be made. And let's just go through those now, honestly. Ooh, nice wraparound goal there by Red. It's mainly just the 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 choice of when to go for a body check, when to go for a poke check, um, when to just hold blue line, stay back, whatever. Uh, all those decisions are weighed upon uh, what the other team's giving you, obviously. And you just have to make decisions on the fly. Same with breakout passes, the decision to skate it out to make a quick pass right to sometimes maybe blast it down for your teammate to chase on the other side there's a, there's all kinds of choices need to be made so let's just go here all right see what our teammates are giving us i don't even know all right so they're gonna dump it in easy pass up to green let's see what he does with it up for red now red was streaking when i had that puck around i could maybe have blasted to him but that's just a, a split decision there's got to be chemistry that's a great feed now i'm gonna find green back door and uh, he actually stopped up somehow. His animation did not really give him much. Uh, all right. So the benefit of my of my forwards right now, they both are rocking one T. So they're definitely that's definitely what they're going to be looking for. So let's actually try and find that as a main look. All right. So here we go. Here I'm just going to decide to hold it. I got back checkers. Right. There's no reason for me to step up and try to create something there. A lot of it now is just all right. Let's see what my teammates do. Red goes up with it. Takes a shot. And I'm just kind of playing back here. All right, now I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna skate around with it a little bit. Fred cuts. Yep. Red Red found me the other you know the the other play with that. So I'm gonna find him there. Back at the point for him. Try to find Red again, and he's gonna look for Green. There it is. In front. All right. So my guys are actually not quite quite nice at some of the plays. All right. I'm gonna hold here. Oh, I'm gonna uh, start pursuing. So the fact that he stopped up and he did not have a cross crease option available is the reason why I went for that. Goal time. Okay. So unfortunate, uh, the goalie animation with that. I'm not even sure what was going on uh, as goalie. He couldn't sp spin his guy around, but uh, I guess he couldn't contortion this that one up. All right. So the teal guy for them is gone. They got still two forwards for them and then a goal tender. All right. So I'm going to hold the puck here a little bit. One move, I find red streaking. There it is. Bang. What a look. Drop-ins is very simple, man. I tell you, it's like... All right, I'm going to hold blue line here. All right, so the idea is when you make a choice, you have to make sure that you either have a back check, like you have support. Nice play. You either have support or you're capable of pursuing the puck here without compromising inside leverage. So when I was making the poke check at the point, it was there to just hit it. And if he were to pick it back up again, I could still play that again and again and again. The idea is to master a poke check while backskating. So you're not ever really flat footed. There's a lot of times guys are aggressive. Look at that rebound. Oh, it, it was actually there. All right, guys, we're back with another uh, game, right? This is game two. Obviously, the team quit game number one. So let's see what type of look we get now. I think we got a full squad here, right? 4v4. Um, so we get it. Now I'm going to hold blue line, right? Because we got, we have the support. So I can uh, hold the blue line as far as going for the hit there. I'm going to look for the backdoor feed. Backhander there. If, if Red drove more backdoor, he would have had that. I'm going to play left side. Wow, he had that. So I got cone there, but I'm going to back check. And a nice poke check there by, uh, hmm, I'm not sure who that is really. By, by, by green. Oh, damn. Well, that's on me. All right, so we're just going to hold, right? Play back. Super type of fortune they get. And Red wants to play back as well, right? So playing last man back here. Holding my holding my position. Waiting, waiting. Right. Waiting again. Now I'm gonna go. So the 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 decision there was mainly just off a of gut feeling. Sometimes you just gotta get into that flow of just, alright, I feel like I wanna take a chance here. And if you miss, maybe the worst thing that you've done, right? Because you would get cone, they'd find you back door, whatever. 
but sometimes you surprise an opponent with a just a decision to just go and body check and there it is and i was able to get the puck quick play and then find red who finally goes back door for that to happen all right so he's gonna play that now i'm gonna play here and it, you know it's a matter of now just shaking it up between forcing the play pinching right so some may call it or holding the line sometimes you just got to fake like you're pinching then hold line so i get blasted there i'm back up quickly though i'm playing my man all right i'm gonna hold this puck a little bit Cheever green wants to go i'm gonna find him now i'm playing back for him quick pitching catch between me and green and he finds red out in front can't quite get it now red see the red problem is he's kind of just holding in the middle all right here we go holding this again and then bang so that's just two on one look that's tough all right now nah, i made the wrong decision there but trying to force that i'm holding slot unfortunate pass there i'm gonna find green quick see where he goes and then red jumps in right so forward simply get into the mindset of like all right they, they want the puck quickly things like that and then they wind up jumping you see a lot that a lot in drop-ins they, they 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 jump offside things like that like that that shouldn't be an offside you know like that's not green by him holding that he's just simply skating it up you don't have to find the guy open every single time there's got to be some some control over your player i'm gonna hold this pocheck and then i'm finding this guy back door put my back to him all right, so good by green one on one there. And I was finding the guy driving back door. The shot on. Backhander there. I'm just playing point. You got three guys down low. I'm going to play a little bit up. See what I can do here. They're all just clogging slot. So just kind of like a give and go. And I'm racing. Red's actually last one back. He got coned and they score. So that's the problem there, right? There was a little bit of a rotation red rotated behind me i came and tried to drive back door after the feed down low just because i want to have some speed um or just a different look right but then red gets uh he's not able to hold last men back and uh they want to get in the breakaway off uh, from it kind of wish our goalie could make a save though too you know all right so we're holding line here now i'm gonna i'm gonna play up two on one i'm gonna find green Good. That's actually great. Great defense. Great defense by that guy. I'm going to run the race back. Right. Green on the four check. Good. Holding it a little bit. Fine red. See where he goes. Holding back from. He gets blasted. All right. And then that is the end of the period. So it's a lot of quick decisions, right? There was a little, you know, one on two defense that I was making. Uh, it was just the decision to hold, you know, hold slot. Sometimes force the hits along the boards when you have a good angle and you have support. So there's all that that you have to take into consideration. The main thing is you want to try to limit how often you get coned in this game. How often you get flat footed. Things like that. And that's all based on what decision you're making at the time and what the team's giving you. There's, I mean, it's it's not as easy as it sounds, right? As, as it's explained. But a lot of things just goes off experience, quick decisions, right? Decision making is all based on experience, game plan, you know what type of how, what style you want to play and things like that and also what the team's giving you all right look switch play there i got blasted bro had had, had to let go of that one all right so we'll we'll rotate oh geez we got tristan jerry out here and uh it's red see what he does right so i'm playing uh, a little bit too for uh too much of a forward right now i'm gonna hold that slot though control here find red early they got two guys caught up two on one bang what a play huh score on the rebound so two on one and that was off of uh a pocheck in the slot right the guy drove in pocheck get the puck two guys were drawn down low quick feed up to red two on one play all right so when you just got a sense when you have an opportunity to get a pass up to your teammates you got to find them i'm gonna hold it yeah see that right there a lot of guys would probably hold the blue line right there just because they think they have it but sometimes you just got to let him in and then get a play. Let's see what red does here, though. Spin. All right, I'm going to get it. Fine green. Bang. Scored. Weird how we have that camera shit about me and, uh, and uh, green. I don't know, man. And his, his name's Swaggy, too. I don't know why. I don't know why this guy's got the same name as my uh, teammate. Weird. But uh, got that got that weird chemistry. I don't know. Try to sauce up the boards. That was bad. And uh, kind of... 
put green in a bad spot there. All right, so I'm going to hold uh, last one back inside, right? So we got that that, that one, two rush with the uh, with our four check, right? Red's on the four check, and we got green back with me. So that's a good, simple style. Nice spin. Oh, find me, red. Come on, man. All right, po check. Darting back. All right, again, red's on that four check. You want to have, tip, you know, you tip, typically want to have one designated player to four check while the other guy will stay back, play more versatile. And then you are technically as teal, the last one back. Of course, when a rotation happens like this, you know, somebody who has to stay back, things like that. It's the same thing in sixes, right? You got, you know, when, when you feel like the need to go up in the play, you can make that, uh, that choice. You just had to have, you know, a four. Typically your center would be the guy. What a, what a play. Fine red. All right. I'm pulling back. I'm going to, ooh, that's, that was, that was the issue there, but I'm trying to force something. And then, who, who, what's that goalie's name, huh? Gonna race for that puck now. Gonna kind of ro rotate behind him, and I'm gonna find red back door. It's a typical look, right? I just want to see what the team's doing. Up by, f up by three. Nice little toe drag, and he's scoring the backhand. <coughs> so that's again, you know, green playing last man back. Tried to force the play. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, the thing is, right, he's a bigger guy as a power forward. So the, and then the guy is able to kind of go around him for a breakaway. That's just a speed versus a uh, big guy, you know, in terms of uh, how fast that guy was. That's how quick it is. What the hell is the AI goalie doing now, huh? Man, we get, we're, 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 we're getting some weird looks. Like we got I've never seen an AI goalie try to pull a contortionist look ever, but I guess that's a human goalie, right? So. Maybe he has that. I don't even know what he was running earlier in the game. Didn't even look at his zone ability. But good find for a goal. I'm going to hold it here. Lost it right. Pocheck. Now I'm going to control around that. Two guys caught up again to another two-on-one play. And now their defenseman overextends. And they get a rush off that. All right. Third period. So since we're up in this game, you don't have to force anything. Me as a teal defenseman, we're up 5-1 or 5-2, right? So we don't need to rush anything. We just play conservative, our style. They're trying to actually mix it up now, too. I'm going to quickly feed them, and I'm going to play back. I mean, I think we could have went up in the rush, but I'm going to play back. Yep. And then I'm going to find them on the sauce. No, I didn't work there. All right. Well, tried it. All right. Two guys up. I'm playing out. I'm going to anchor this here. And then, oh, I tried to force that. Good save by the goalie. I'll hold it. Ooh. Thought we had it for a second, but then uh, was able to get that poke check. You, you never want to kind of get caught down low while they're inside of you. Like, if they have the ability to wrap around the short side, you never, never really want that to happen. All right, I'm playing back again. One-on-one -on -one with this guy. I'm going to hold the poke check out. Po He's going to find him back door. Yep. So I just played right in between the guys. I knew the guy was driving. The guy wasn't didn't have any speed towards him that. So I could just play inside, watch for William Wafer's for his team at the get in. That's an interference, is it not? You better. And it's not. All right, uh, I'll play back. So another two on one on two. This time I'm gonna forecheck again. So I, again, I'm showing the same look. If I have an uh, an opportunity to post check early, I think I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do so because he's seen me now hold it until the last second, like hold slot to the last second. All right, I'm gonna hold it here. Let's see what I can do. Sauce again. <sighs> Almost. Almost. All right, I'm gonna let that puck go. I got right back with me. Two on two rush. Two on three on two, and then all right, now we got green. Playing, holding inside, holding inside, holding inside. Good back check, red. I was actually gonna pursue the puck here there, but that was held up by his teammate. But even still, right? I'm holding inside. Red's caught, so he, he was he caught overextended. So it became a mini one on two there, but a good back check by him, so he was able to recover. Holding blue line. Nice. Red forces that. I'm gonna find green. He's uh speed along the left wing side. In front, try to find a one T, right? They're going to try to race back with speed. I'm holding blue line. And I'm racing back to the inside. So the idea was I would force it. That's on how I overextend it there. Nope. I'm holding it. Nope. Holding it again. LT. Find red on the breakaway. Two on. Oh. Oh, gosh. Red. You got to be kidding me, red. I do all that for you to get a breakaway. And you do a... Well, you're going to do a freaking dead zook flip? Just put the puck in the back of the net. Backhand score. Give me the TikTok. Like, come on. 
This isn't hard. What is that glitch on the screen? You guys see that? What? What is this old gen? Bro, it's following red. What is that? All right, now I'm now I'm now I'm just uh, distracted and they score. So that's on goalie, right? Because he should have been holding uh, hugging the post there. Not quite sure what purple was doing there, to be honest with you. Holding slot, holding slot, holding slot. I don't even care what my teammates are doing. Nice. I'm gonna try to find them. What a sauce! Come on, give me that. I mean, that's tape to tape, but yet I'm that was a manual sauce by me. Come on, holding this guy. Nope. Playing tight on him. I'm gonna chop. Yeah, that was good. Now I'm just an option, right? They all go back, so there's no four check at all. I'm gonna find green, and I miss it, of course. Became a penalty, so penalty shot for me. Ooh. Oh, the guy hooked me as I chopped it, so he was trying to stick with me. But I chopped it, so you, I get caught there, right? So, uh, well, this is AI goalie, right? So we're just gonna try a move that I've done back in actual 21. See what I can do here. Now I'm gonna try to dead suit flip. Okay. How come my deking is better than the Reds? And he's a, a, I'm assuming he's a sniper, right? Close quarters. Teal kind of ass needs to hit that pass. <laughs> You know, it actually rhymed a little bit. All right, I'm going to go up. Find him back door. He scores. The whole team went up. Easy poke check, able to get it. And then a quick transition bang and score, right? When you have the space, take it. See what he does here. Man, you, you would really expect for the goalie to make a save there, you know? All right, so here, two on one. I'm not even going to force this around top speed. And he's going to take it himself. I, mm, okay. So that's actually, that is on me technically because he had a lot more space. I was thinking he was going to feed that one T, but he didn't. He took it himself this time. Whole team goes up. We win by one. And we were up. What was it 6-3? There's no way they came back like that. You have both forwards going at top speed. You have to basically hold. You have to allow them to go in because, I mean, you, you don't even really have a back check that, to support you if you were to step up. So you have to let them in. They're at top speed, right? Even if you were to manage to get a poke check off, they may still get that puck still, right? So I was thinking this guy was just going to drive in more. And if he did, that would have made more sense for me to actually hold this area here. But when he takes himself out of the play like this, he goes like this and stops. Like he's not... That's right when it gets to like right here. As soon as I see that motion, I have to immediately dart right here because now I have a stick available to block that pass, which I actually may... I actually did see that, but I was thinking he was going to feed that pass, right? But actually, I could have done exactly what I did every every other time was just force this, forced to play right here. Now, yeah, it's a short side goal, right? And actually, it was a good back check more, more so by red than what I did. Now, technically, I am covering this guy still. You know, but again, we're not trying to just be an average defenseman here, are we? Trying to be above and beyond and cover two areas at once. A one on two is something that a great defenseman can cover pretty consistently as long as he reads to play well. YouTube recommends you watch this video next. Click it.